Hi guys, you're on variant24.com and today we will disassemble the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G smartphone. First of all, we need to remove the card tray and it is located in the upper part. For this, we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the tray for SIM cards. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 65-70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can proceed to the assembly. To remove the back cover, we will use a plastic film. And this is the protective film from the new display. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and slide it along the back cover to detach it. Always be careful around the side buttons, because there may be cables in this area and they can be damaged. We also need to be careful around the cameras, so as not to touch or damage the lenses. And we open the back cover. On the back cover we have the flashlight elements and a gasket. After this, we need to unscrew the screws at the top. For this, we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 This will allow us to get to the battery connector, which we will need to disconnect. Then we need to carefully leave the cover and use a non-metal tool to disconnect the wireless charging connector. Carefully disconnect the connector and bend the wireless charging to the side. And use a non-metal tool to disconnect the battery connector. The battery connector is on the, our model is located in a slightly different place and therefore the cable runs along the side. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. To unscrew the screws, we use the same screwdriver, 1.5 mm Phillips. So we can detach the cover with a speaker. We find the right place, for which we can hook the cover and lift it. And we can remove the entire assembly. Our assembly consists of wireless charging, NFC and speaker. After this, we can remove the interboard cable. We hook up the connectors and remove the cable. Please note that the arrows on the cable indicate the direction to the motherboard and there is some notices that also indicate the location in relation to the motherboard and subboard. Then we disconnect the connector of the headphone jack port cable. We need to be careful because the cable of the headphone jack port is really thin and can be easily damaged. Now we need to unscrew the three screws securing the subboard. The screwdriver is the same, Philips 1.5 mm. The screws may be different, so we recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for reassembly. So we can detach the subboard. Carefully pick it up by the edge and try to lift the subboard. The subboard is slightly recessed and cable of the headphone jack port is thin and can be easily damaged, so we have to be careful. And we take out the subboard. Then we disconnect the interboard cable connector on the motherboard and remove the subboard with the interboard cable. 
On the subboard we have a charging port, microphone and other elements on the back side. And the headphone jack port and vibration motor remains in the display frame. And then we disconnect the side buttons connector and the connector of the cable to the display. After that we unscrew the remaining screws, fixing the cover and the motherboard. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips. Then carefully hook at the edge and detach the cover with antenna tracks. There is also a contact pad for the RP speaker on the cover. And we disconnect the two connectors and remove them from camera assembly. We make sure that there is nothing in the way and we can detach the motherboard. Find the right and convenient place to hook it, carefully bend the cables so that they don't interfere with us and remove the motherboard. So we can see there is an assembly of the rear cameras attached to the back side. The assembly is firmly glued and we were asked not to remove it, unfortunately. And in the display frame remains the earpiece speaker. So this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.